Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I've got a very small rift clothing try-on haul to share with you guys today. Um, I debated on whether I would or should even share this because there's only so few items that I picked out, but I'm just so excited because these are the first clothing items that I have purchased since my uh, tummy tuck surgery, so I'm just really excited to share, share them with you guys. Now there's actually one item that I did purchase pre-op, but it was a thrifted item and I haven't showed it here on my channel, so I just thought I would include it because it's really cute. Um, but anyways, before we do get into the thrifted items I purchased in the try on. If you are curious about what is on my eyes today, I really love the way this turned out today. So I did use um, the Juvia's Place Berry Palette on this eye and then the Violet's Palette on this eye. This is the look, oh, I love it. That video should already be live if you have not seen it and are interested in seeing these shadows in action. Um, I will link that video in the eye. Definitely go check it out and show me some love. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the items. So the first item that I'm going to show you is actually the item that I purchased pre-op, but it still fits me. It's really cute. So this is a red and black flannel from American Eagle. I found this actually in the men's section. I tend to like to look in the men's section of thrift shops for like t-shirts and things like that. I just find that there's, I don't know, cuter clothes kind of sometimes in the men's section, especially for t-shirts um, that are just fun to wear or like um, th thrift flip, if you will. I did a video on a bunch of shirts that I like flipped and cut up and things like that. If you want to see that, I'll link it. But anyway, so I found this in the guy's section, but I feel like it's kind of like a nice slim fit. So I'm not sure if it really is a guy's shirt or a girl's shirt or whatever. I'm not really sure, but I like the way it fits. I think it's really cute. It is a size medium um, and it just seems like during the winter or December, Christmas time, like everybody wears this this kind of flannel, so it's like a standard, but I didn't have one. I thought it was really cute. I do like the brand American Eagle, so I definitely had to pick that up. All right, the next item that I have to show you, I, to show you, um, I actually don't have a try on for, but I still want to include it just because I thought it was really cute. I did thrift this. Um, it doesn't have a brand on here or a size. Like there is a tag down here, but like the size and the brand was cut off, so all that's left is like the care instructions, which is really interesting, but anyways. Um, I bought this. I thought it was so, so singing cute. The color is really what spoke to me. I've so been into like this kind of olivey, rich, foresty green. And then, so it's just like this tank top and it has these big buttons, which I just think are so, so cute. And I feel like for a little bit, that was like a little bit of a trend going on. Um, I haven't seen much of it lately, but for a little bit, I was seeing like these big buttons everywhere on a lot of clothing items. And I wish I thought it was super, super cute. But anyways, I purchased it without trying it on. And when I got home and tried it on, it actually didn't fit me. I mean, it would have fit probably my waist, but it didn't fit around my breast. So unfortunately, I'm not keeping this, but I thought I'd mention it anyways, because it's a super cute top. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and have my daughter list it on her Depop account. I think Depop is very very similar to what's the other what's the other app it's basically where you could like sell things a lot of people sell clothes on it but my daughter has a depop and she sells a lot of her clothes and then sometimes clothes that I have when I'm decluttering my closet um, and so I figured it'd be a nice little way to kind of advertise for her and if you if this looks like a top that maybe you might be interested in it's super super cute it just look like it'd be nice and flowy I love the color the buttons are super cute um, but anyways I'll list her depop in the description box if you want to check it out all right so the next item I picked up thrifted is this adorable uh, dress look how cute it is I love this color on the screen it's pulling a very uh, light almost blue leaning green but it's a pretty true green it's so so cute i've just so oh just been in a on a green kick for the longest time love 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 but um anyway so it's like this little sleeveless and it's got this cute little back detail and i just absolutely love the the skirt the um what is this? The pleating in the skirt. It's like an A-line skirt. Very, very cute. The brand is Exhilaration, which I can't remember if that's like a Target brand or a Walmart brand. I know it's either one or the other, um, but I just can't remember which. I feel like Target, but I could be wrong. Anyways, this is a size small, which made me actually happy. When I was searching or thrift, going through the clothes at thrift shops, I didn't really look at the sizes. I was just kind of looking at clothes. It's anything that kind of spoke to me and would look like it might fit me and then pulled it out and just looked at the sizes later. Um, it's been the longest time since I think anything small ever fit me, so it feels really good to, to see something that's a small. Not the size necessarily matters because brands are very different across the board. Um, I'm still pretty much a large in a lot of things and extra large in a few things, so I mean, it's whatever, but it's still kind of exciting to see. Anyways, this is a super cute um, dress. It does have some stretch to it. Uh, I love the color. I feel really cute in it. 
it's I mean it's winter right now so it's definitely not a dress for now but I could put a cardigan over it or a jacket wear it with some tights so I can wear it for the winter but it'll be a really cute dress for the spring okay the next up is just a little simple t-shirt I found this in the guys section as well I saw I saw a lot of shirts with this uh, saying on it and at first I thought it was just this one and just had a cute saying and it was totally random but then when I saw more and more shirts with this saying on I was like I don't know what this means is this a brand is it a band because I saw some other shirts that had like like it made it seem almost like a band thing or maybe it was just like a brand that went out of business I don't know but there were so many and some of the tops were really weird had like gorilla heads on them and some of them look like I said music like I don't really know so if anybody if this means something and any of you guys know what it means let me know because I always feel weird about wearing things wearing clothes that like represent something that maybe I don't know what it means but I, I, I don't know I feel like this is kind of maybe a brand or maybe like a local clothing brand that maybe went out of business or something I'm not quite sure but anyways I just thought it was really cute and it's like literally brand new um, the size is medium and it just says live life wholehearted and I just thought that was really cute I don't know I like kind of like plain tees that have like sayings on them like that or you know I don't know I just thought it was cute so it's just this black top with live life wholehearted um and I just I, I kind of like I like that saying I thought it was really cute um I thought the the fit is really comfortable anytime I've seen um like canvas is the brand of this t-shirt and I know that that's like a brand that a lot of um I, w I guess you would say like sm maybe small business companies or like merch lines will use like I'm pretty sure that um, my Bailey Sarian shirts are from the canvas brand of t-shirts and they're just really really comfortable um, and really well fitted and just wear and wash really well so when I see that um, I tend to like those type of, of t-shirts so I'll gravitate towards buying them but anyways this was, this shirt was literally like 50, 50 cents so it was like it's just a simple t-shirt if it means something I don't know maybe I won't wear it and won't be a big loss but otherwise I think it's just a really cute shirt that I can just throw on and wear and I've been liking to wear my um, t-shirts kind of like not so they have a little bit more of a feminine twist or look to them um, so anyways I just thought it was a cute shirt all right the next item is a little bit more of a saucy top but I purchased this specifically with my husband in mind ever since having my surgery uh, my husband has been like so are you gonna you know dress a little more confidently now because he likes when I wear things that are a little more form-fitting and that show off my curves and things like that I've always been very shy I'm still very shy it really was never necessarily about my weight why I hide my body I'm just a very modest person but still I do tend to like wearing um, halter tops and tube tops in the summer and things like that because um, it does get very hot here in California but anyways I thought this was a little bit more saucy or sexy if you will of a top so I purchased it uh, with my husband in mind but it is a really really cute top so it is a halter top with this like uh, beading and just really decorative design um, and a lot of ruching so it's a little bit more like form fitting form fitted and skin tight but the ruching makes it not as like just my body so it makes me feel a little more comfortable and it's like stretchy it's really really cute um, just this like simple beige or grayish color it's more of a pinky beige I guess um, the brand is one that I've not heard of before it's called Maxine mode and the size is medium for anybody curious okay, this next one I actually um, have not tried on yet I haven't done my try on portion yet um, but I'm, I'm sure I'll probably try this on and I'm not sure how it's gonna look on me but this was thrifted as well but it was thrifted by my friend she said she saw it and thought of me it looked like a top that I would wear um, and I forgot about it until just now because it was in my pile of stuff but it's just this gray top it kind of has like a boat neck kind of slouchy looking top and we're gonna see how it looks you guys will see the try on um, and we'll be able to see before me really because <laughs> I forgot about it but then the sleeves are like this crocheted um, decoration I think that's really really cute so I hope this does fit me and look well it kind of has um, a baggy it's like kind of pretty big and baggy and it looks like it tapers long on each side so that's really interesting let me see I don't see a size and then like the little tag here is like there's nothing on it so let me see if there's anything else with a tag or a size I'm gonna guess this is like a large or extra large yeah, there's no tag, but anyways, it looks cute. Hopefully it looks cute on me. <laughs> okay, and then just two more items. These are items that I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, this one might seem a little bit boring, but I'm still very excited about it. So this is a um, basically just a workout tank top. It's from the brand Nike. It is a size medium, um, and it's just this cute, like, neon green 
workout tank. I was looking at a lot of the workout clothes at thrift shops. Part of me was like really, um, obviously very picky because this is the only thing I picked up and really the main reason is because it's neon green that I, <laughs> that I love green um, and Nike is a really good brand. But um, it, 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 I, I don't know, it's hard to like think of picking up thrifted gym clothes because if someone else like worked out and sweat in them like it doesn't sometimes matter how much you wash them they're still kind of gross you know what I mean like so but anyways the top looked like pretty much new and so I was like I I want I wanted so so stinking cute love it okay um and then the last item I'm actually really really excited about this is actually the very last item I purchased it was right in the area where you can try on clothes um and I saw it and was like I have looked at sh uh, jackets like this online countless times, considered purchasing, and just never have, never went through with it because they tend to be very expensive. And then also it's really tricky with lace because you never know how that's going to fit. Um, and so I've never really gone through with it. But when I saw it, I was like, this is so cute. I tried it on and I love the way it looks. So it's this jacket. It's kind of like more like a blazer jacket and it's not really like a real jacket, but you know what I mean? It's like a, a blazer jacket with this lace detailing. So, so stinking cute. So the brand is Material Girl. Again, one I've never really heard of before. Um, and then the size is extra large. It fits so stinking cute. I'm pretty sure for the try on, I'm probably going to pair it over top of um, the green dress that I showed you guys earlier. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I think this would be really cute with my leather leggings or some ripped jeans and like a simple lace top or something. Um, I don't know, it would just be really, really cute. So the reason I was really kind of hesitant about buying this was because, um, for one, it was one of the most expensive things um, that I was going to be buying at the thrift store. It was like, um, I don't know, $8, which is a really good deal, actually, because a lot of the ones I've seen like this online are like $30, $40. It's pretty expensive. So this is a pretty good deal, but it's blue, and I I don't like wearing blue. I feel like every time I find something super cute, whether at a thrift store or just any store in general, um, I'll see something that's really cute, but it's in blue. And I was like, why is everything that's super cute that I am drawn to style-wise always blue? I feel like so much of my wardrobe is blue, but it's not even a color I really love to wear. I, so I was like, why does this have to be blue? Like, I would have loved if it were black. That would have been perfect. Um, or like burgundy or something like that. That would have been awesome because I love burgundy. But I think blue is, I mean, it's a really pretty blue. It's a very bright, rich, vibrant kind of royal blue, as you can see, um, that I think will be like... It'll go well with a lot of things, I imagine. Um, so, well, at least we'll, we'll hope. But anyways, the lace is nice, this stretch material, and it just is really cute, really flattering, comfortable. Um, it does have like this zipper detailing. It's kind of like, is that considered like a moto style? I'm not quite sure. But anyways, I just thought it was so, so cute. Anyways, I was hesitant about it, but in the, um, the thrift store, um, I was standing there and tried it on and I showed my daughter because I was thrifting with my daughter and a couple of her friends and one of my best friends. Um, and anyways, the girls, some of the girls were trying clothes on and then there were some people waiting in line to try on some clothes and stuff like that. So I tried it on, I was like, what do you guys think? I was asking my daughter and her friends. Um, and they all loved it. And then there was two other women there who were waiting to try clothes on. They're like, yes, it's it's so cute. It's so you. It's so flattering. You definitely have to get it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super glad that I did because it's really cute. And it is a style of jacket that I've been wanting for a long time, even if it's not a color that I love. But I do think I will get some good use out of it. So anyways, that is it for my thrift haul and the try-on. I honestly feel so excited to be sharing this video with you because it's my first clothing try-on haul since my surgery. And obviously my body looks a little bit different. I feel like it's not like dramas dramatically, dramatically different from, from, from my body before with clothes on. Cause I know a lot of people have said like looking at me with clothes on, doesn't look like I would need surgery, but it's really not about like necessarily the outward appearance of my body. It was more like how I felt, you know, naked, the excess skin on my stomach that I could of course hide with like, you know, tight fitting undershirts and things like that. But as far as how I feel, you know, naked and things like that. That's really the difference. But anyways, still other, all that aside, I'm still very excited to be doing this try on haul post-op and things like that. Uh, I can't wait to do a little bit more shopping. I've kind of uh, held back on purchasing any new clothes um, 
aside from these because I still do have some swelling and things like that. I want to wait till that fully goes down and I'm healed just a little bit more before actually purchasing some more clothes um, for my wardrobe because um, I know my body might change a little bit so I want to wait but I didn't mind purchasing these because it is so affordable. They're thrifted. They're very very cheap clothing um, and I imagine there'll be clothes that'll still fit me in a couple of months and things like that but anyways so I do hope in the future that I will be doing some more clothing try on hauls as I am going to be revamping my wardrobe so stay tuned if you like clothing try on hauls give this video a thumbs up leave a comment letting me know your thoughts any places you suggest me shop from or that you'd like to see me shop from um let me know which item was your favorite but anyways with all that being said that's enough of my rambling I just want to thank you so so much for watching and until next time much love and hugs to you bye beauty babes Mwah.